Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with this Saturday Midday Tropical Update. We've had some new information coming from the National Hurricane Center regarding an area of disturbed weather in the southern Bay of Campeche. This is now being declared Invest 91, and this now has a high chance of development. We have a very interesting setup. We have the area of low pressure here in the southern Bay of Campeche. We also have another little surface low along an old frontal boundary here, which is dropping south uh, from Texas. This is something that we were watching a few days ago, uh, but this does not appear to have any kind of tropical characteristics. However, it's this southern system that now has a higher chance of developing into a tropical entity. So here is the development area. It is the western Gulf of Mexico, Bay of Campeche, and parts of uh, South Texas just off the coast there. Now the chance of development up to 70% over the next seven days. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty regarding the exact eventual track of this system. So here's a, one of our uh, forecast models, our 15 kilometer model. So it shows that current surface low in Texas, this would be by Saturday afternoon, and then you can see the surface low developing over the Bay of Campeche. Now, as we move this forward, you'll notice that this southern low will likely become the more dominant feature. And as it sits over the very warm waters, the chances that this could organize into a tropical entity will increase. This particular run of the model keeps this uh, system hugging the west coast of the east coast of Mexico, potentially bringing some impacts to South Texas. However, other runs of various models show solutions where this moves up towards the Texas Gulf Coast, maybe even up towards the western Louisiana Gulf Coast. So a lot of uncertainty regarding how strong this system will become if it develops and exactly where it goes. But regardless of that, this would bring deep tropical moisture to South Texas and Louisiana again. And even on the uh, Alabama, Mississippi and Northwest Florida Gulf Coast, I think this will be something for us to watch by the middle and latter portions of next week. Some of the moisture from this eventual system could start creeping into our neck of the woods and can certainly in, uh, in impact our local weather as well. So uh, this will be something to watch certainly over the next couple of days. Elsewhere in the Atlantic Basin, another tropical wave moving into the central Atlantic now with a medium chance of development of 40%. And then another one just behind it now with a low chance of development at 20%. So as we're getting Closer and closer to the peak of hurricane season on September 10th, as we expect, things are starting to ramp up across the Atlantic Basin. So it's not out of the question that we could see another named system try to form, this time in the Gulf of Mexico. The next name on the list is Francine.